no plans, no plans at all Evil man's always transcending Fight her like sheep, swallow everything Always simple tins or pretending We got no plans This is your moment of clarity from LeeCamp.net You know one of the most powerful weapons the government can use against us? It's not missiles or gas or propaganda or threatening to release all the new TSA body scanner images of you as Christmas cards. Nope. It's boredom. That's right, boredom. When evil stuff is boring, people don't give a shit. Boring evil is the worst. People care less than Vladimir Putin at an Amnesty International convention. I'm about to tell you about a highly secretive trade agreement the U.S. is entering into that will fuck with the safety of our food, the strength of our environmental regulations, and will protect foreign corporations from our laws. And that's just the friendly stuff. It's called the Trans-Pacific Partnership, and see? See? I, I knew it! You're asleep! Wake up, motherfucker! Every time I try to explain this to someone, they faceplant right into their French onion soup before I even get to the word Pacific. Maybe I should stop giving them French onion soup. TPP, as it's called, would be the largest quote-unquote free trade agreement in the world. And free trade sounds good, doesn't it? This is America. We're all about freedom. Free trade sounds like it involves sunshine and lollipops in a world where Star Wars never had its corpse dragged through the mud. And the mud is filled with diarrhea. But in fact, it's called free trade because once it's passed, American workers are free of jobs and corporations are free of regulations and Wall Street is free of restrictions and 2.5 million jobs have been lost due to NAFTA alone, the North Atlantic Free Trade Agreement. And most importantly, under TPP, foreign corporations won't even have to abide by our laws. If they feel something's unfair, they can take it to, to an international tribunal. And I know what you're thinking. Ugh, Leah, stop it. I'm sick of hearing about the Trans-Pacific Partnership. Every day the news is talking about it and showing pictures of it and asking us whether it's bigger than we thought, whether it could endanger New York City, whether it could have implications for generations to come. And Oh, wait, I was... That's, that's Kim Kardashian's ass I was thinking of. I'm sorry. I'm so hungover. I, last night was wild. I, I licked a bunch of frogs. Like a bunch of frogs. And they weren't even they weren't even name brand frogs. They were like generic, like Rite Aid brand frogs. You don't even know what you you don't even know what you're getting with those. I'm I'm sorry. That's what you're thinking. The reason you haven't heard about the TPP is because the negotiations have been largely top secret. And you have to ask yourself, when our elected representatives are negotiating a trade deal that will fuck up all of our lives why should we be kept in the dark like a dog on the way to be neutered? Right now, our government is looking at us and going, Don't worry, we're just, we're just going to the park. It's just a, just a ride to the park. We're not gonna, we're not gonna chop your balls off or nothing. There's still time to change this, though. Spread the word about the Trans-Pacific Partnership. Force the media to cover it. Tell your friends. But take it from someone who knows. Don't give them French onion soup beforehand. That's your moment of clarity from LeeCamp.net. Go to FlushTheTPP.org for more information on this topic. And if you've enjoyed my videos and you want to hear my live stand-up comedy, grab one of my two live stand-up comedy albums, Chaos for the Weary or Pepper Spray the Tears Away. They were both taped live in New York City and are available anywhere you can buy music. Check them out. Thanks. Keep fighting. No plans at all. Evil man's always transcending. Fight her like sheep, swallow everything Always simple tins or pretending